Hi, I'm here for a date. Oh, you're the one she's here for? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so me and Cameron have been like together for probably two years now. My family doubted us, others doubted us. I'm not gonna lie, it was hard. It was hard for me. But I look past his disability. I love him for who he is. And I guess that's all that matters. I love Cameron. That family was very supportive. They told us we shouldn't date. My parents were like, oh, I don't know, you should date a normal person, but my love is so strong. I don't want to stop. We have a big day coming up. Yeah, I'm really excited. Me too. This is the salmon. It's not being ordered in time, and we're gonna have to have the filet mignon. Here you go. Thanks. You see that table over there? Really weird. Why is she with me? I don't know. That's so weird. It's so like it's so crazy. Why was she there? I don't know. It's yeah. kind of gross. I'm just trying to have a good dinner have a good time, spend my night by myself, and I'm not trying to see that at the table next to me. That's just unbelievable. Hi, my name is Priest Cat. Um, when I was faced with the decision to marry this couple, at first I thought it was weird. I didn't really understand. I was like, why would Vic marry someone like that? Um, I, but like, you know, God's always on everyone's side, you know, love is love, we're accepting here, no matter who you are, you have the right to marry. Hi, Victoria and Cameron, you have come here today on your own free will and in the presence of family and loved ones. <coughs> have declared your love and commitment to each other. You have given and received hats as a symbol of your promises, given and received hats. By the power of your love and commitment to each other and by the power of vestment in me, by the state of New Jersey and American Marriage Ministries, I now pronounce you husband and wife. If nobody objects, I object. Right, moving on. Um, I now pronounce you husband and wife, you may. Make your commencements. I used to be like so against dating someone with a disability. Like I just thought that was so wrong. Like why would you do that? But I realized I was wrong. Like I think I love Cam. Like he is an awesome person. And I just felt like I had to object the wedding because I knew I was in love with him. I can't believe the waitress from the restaurant showed up to my wedding. Like she was talking so much trash about me and Cameron. Now she's just trying to steal my man's. I just wanted to apologize to you guys because how I reacted in the restaurant just wasn't okay and I didn't know how to tell you than other other than at the wedding. So I just wanted I didn't want to offend you. Like I hope you guys are happily married and like what I said back then, like I just didn't mean it. I was <laughs> ignorant to say that. I'm disappointed in myself for not realizing that it's okay to date someone with a disability. Like their disability doesn't define them. And love is love, like it shouldn't matter like if you have a disability or not. I don't hold anything against the waitress that showed up at my wedding. I, I see that me being married to Cameron is a little bit different and I understand that. And I'm happy that she's finally coming to terms that it's okay. And like, love, love is love and it, it has no boundaries. I feel like I witnessed firsthand how society was changing and um, I'm really happy with it. I think there's going to be some steps we're going to have to take, but we'll get there. Well, we're a happy family. Um, Vic and I are happy now. I've been, I've seen the way to work all in the week. We're, we're best friends. Uh, yeah, we, we're fine. We're happy. We're happily married. I'm very similar to the waitress. We both judge things that we cannot control, and it made no sense, and it was not right. Cameron and Victoria are very happy, and that's all that matters.